Paul disappoints me by opposing gay marriage, but at least Rand did not ask the government to ban it. It's a relief when a politician draws a line between what his religion tells him and what government ought to do. Ireland voted to change its constitution, civil marriage, okay to same-sex couples. I know you've been opposed to that. How did you react to that Catholic country voting to okay it? And are you, are you running against the tide? Oh, no, I think you misquoted me there. I've never been opposed to it. Uh, I don't like national laws. I like state laws. States can do whatever they want. But the, the uh, principled position in a free society is that governments aren't involved. Why do you have to get a license to go get married? Why can't we go to the preacher or the priest and, and get married and call ourselves married? So in a free society, anybody can be married and call it what they want, and that would be it, and, and you'd why, solve all why these is problems the, well, the of states uh, who's married and who isn't. States involved, I guess, because of children, right? Well, yes, and and, uh, and and too many. We we have too many laws. You know? <laughs> I don't like the drug laws. I don't have marriage laws. I don't like licensing. Uh, licensing in general is very bad. You know, if you're a hairdresser, the big companies will try to put you out of business, or the uh, whether it's a plumbing company. Oh, you don't have a license to do plumbing. Uh, welders have to have licenses. It's a gimmick to limit entrance into a, a trade. So all licenses uh, are. Or it serves an agenda. I think a marriage license is the same way. We, we don't need a marriage you, license, and we don't need to fight over the definition. Here, you know, uh, should, should you have the law change the definition of something for a lot of people who don't want to change? So if you just ignore and let people do what they want, all of a sudden it's a non-issue.